Good morning, YouTube people. Welcome to the Arabian Night. Uh, this magic lamp has got the genie in it inside. Who do you think finds a lamp? No, it's not, uh, it's not Esmeralda. The only person is Aladdin. Would you like to hear my tale? It, uh, concerns an impoffee is a young no a do well na do well named Aladdin in a Chinese city who is recruited by a sorcerer from the Maghrib Rib, who passes himself off as the brother of Aladdin's late father to re retrieve a wonderful oil lamp from a booby trapped magic cave. After the sorcerer attempts uh, to double cross him, Aladdin finds himself trapped in the cave. Fortunately, Aladdin re uh, retains a magic ring lent, by, uh, lent to him by the sorcerer. When he rubs his hands in despair, despair, he advertently rubs the ring, and a genie appears, who takes him home to his mother. Aladdin is still carrying the lamp. And when his mother tries to clean it, a second, far more powerful uh, genie appears. He is bound to do the bidding uh, of the person holding uh, the lamp with the aid of the genie of the lamp. Aladdin became Comes rich and powerful and marries Princess Badro Badda, the Empress daughter. The genie builds Aladdin a wonderful palace, far more magnificent than that of the Emperor himself. The sorcerer returns and is able to get his hands on the lamp by tricking Aladdin's wife, who is unaware of the lamp's importance, by offering to exchange new lamps for old. He orders the genie of the lamp to take the palace to his home in the Maghreb. Fortunately, Aladdin retains the, the magic ring and is able to, uh, to summon the lesser genie. Although the genie of the ring cannot directly undo any of the magic of the genie of the lamp, 
he is able to transport Aladdin to Maghrib and help him recover his wife and the lamp and defeat the sorcerer.